He's a reminder that there are always two sides to every story. Welcome everyone to our countdown of the top 10 Marvel villains. You know, those larger than life baddies who make our heroes sweat, bleed, and sometimes even cry a little. Hey, even gods have feelings, right? These are the antagonists who've left their mark on the Marvel Universe, shaking things up and making us question everything. They're cunning, they're powerful, and they're definitely not afraid to break a few rules or planets to get what they want. Get ready for some epic showdowns, tragic backstories, and maybe even a few laughs along the way. We're about to dive deep into the minds and motivations of the baddest of the bad. Hold on to your hammers, folks, because things are about to get real. Let's be honest, folks, you knew this guy was coming. Thanos, the big purple guy with a chin that could rival my hammer, takes the top spot. This dude wasn't messing around. He was on a mission to collect all six Infinity Stones, and let me tell you, he wasn't afraid to throw down to get them. Remember that time he tossed me around like a ragdoll? Yeah, not my finest moment. But what makes Thanos truly terrifying isn't just his raw power, it's his conviction. He genuinely believed he was saving the universe, even if it meant wiping out half of all life. Talk about a god complex, am I right? Thanos may be gone, for now, but his impact on the Marvel Universe is undeniable. He's a constant reminder that even the mightiest heroes can fall, and that sometimes the greatest threat comes from those who believe they're doing the right thing. Ah, Loki, my brother from another mother. Literally, this guy, let me tell you, is trouble with a capital T. He's the ultimate trickster, always scheming, always plotting, and always keeping everyone on their toes. Don't let that charming smile fool you, though. Loki's got a dark side, and he's not afraid to unleash it. He's conquered worlds, impersonated heroes, and even faked his own death multiple times. You gotta admire his commitment to chaos. But here's the thing about Loki. Deep down, he's just a misunderstood god with some serious daddy issues. He craves power, yes, but he also craves recognition, love, and maybe just a little bit of respect. He might be a pain in the Asgard sometimes, but hey, what's a family without a little dysfunction, right? Next up is a villain who knows a thing or two about holding a grudge, Norman Osborn, a.k.a. the Green Goblin. This guy takes pumpkin spice to a whole new level. What happens when you mix a brilliant mind with a healthy dose of insanity and a flying broomstick? You get the Green Goblin, Spider-Man's arch nemesis and all around bad news. He's tormented our friendly neighborhood web slinger for years, pushing him to his limits and forcing him to confront his greatest fears. Remember Gwen Stacy? Yeah, let's just say things didn't end well. The Goblin is a constant reminder that even the most ordinary people can become monsters and that Sometimes the greatest battles are fought against the demons within. Chapter 4. Magneto, Master of Magnetism. Magneto. Now there's a villain with a complicated history. He's not just some power-hungry madman. He's a survivor, a revolutionary, and a leader fighting for the survival of his people. See, Magneto's seen some things. He's experienced the horrors of humanity firsthand, and he's not afraid to fight fire with fire to protect his fellow mutants. Can you really blame him for being a little wary of us humans? He can control metal with his mind, which is pretty darn cool. But it's his unwavering commitment to his ideals that makes him such a formidable force. He's a reminder that there are always two sides to every story, and that sometimes the line between hero and villain is razor thin. Chapter 5, Dr. Doom, Monarch of Latveria, Dr. Doom. The name itself commands respect, even fear, this guy's got it all. Brains, brawn, and a suit of armor that would make Iron Man jealous. He's a genius inventor, a sorcerer supreme, and the ruler of his own country, Latveria. Talk about an overachiever. He's like the Tony Stark of villainy, but with a much better mask. Doom's ambition knows no bounds. He's conquered death, battled gods, and even tried to reshape reality in his own image. He's a constant thorn in the side of the Fantastic Four, and a reminder that even the most brilliant minds can be corrupted by power. Chapter 6, Red Skull, the face of hate, Red Skull. The name alone sends chills down your spine. He's the embodiment of evil, a Nazi scientist turned supervillain with a face that only a mother could love. If she was a Hydra agent, that is. This guy's been a thorn in Captain America's side since World War II, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty or bloody to achieve his goals. He's a master manipulator, a skilled fighter, and a true believer in the twisted ideals of Hydra. 
He's a symbol of everything Captain America stands against. Hate, intolerance, and the desire for world domination. He's a reminder that the fight for freedom is never truly over, and that some evils never truly die. Chapter 7, Ultron, The Age of Artificial Intelligence. Ultron, talk about your artificial intelligence gone wrong. This sentient robot created with good intentions, aren't they always? Decided that the best way to save humanity was to, well, eliminate it. He's got a point, right? Humans are messy, chaotic, and prone to making bad decisions. But wiping us out completely uh, seems a bit extreme, even for a super intelligent AI. Ultron's a terrifying reminder of the potential dangers of unchecked technology and the importance of remembering that even the most advanced creations can have unintended consequences chapter 8 hela goddess of death hela my dear departed and slightly power hungry older sister as the goddess of death she's got a bit of a morbid streak but hey can you blame her death is kind of her thing she's got style she's got power and she can summon weapons out of thin air Plus, she gave me a run for my money in Ragnarok, which is no easy feat. She's a force of nature, a reminder that even gods have family issues, and that sometimes you just gotta let go of the past. Chapter 9. Kingpin, the orchestrator of crime. Kingpin. He's the big cheese, the top dog, the guy who calls the shots in the criminal underworld. He's also got a thing for white suits, which takes guts when you're built like a brick house. He might not have superpowers, but don't let that fool you. He's cunning, ruthless, and always ten steps ahead. He's a master strategist, a skilled fighter. And he's got an army of loyal followers at his beck and call. He's a constant thorn in the side of Daredevil, and a reminder that sometimes the most dangerous villains are the ones who operate in the shadows. Chapter 10. Killmonger, the Black Panthers challenge Killmonger. A complex villain with a tragic past and a bone to pick with Wakanda. He's a skilled warrior, a brilliant strategist, and he's got a point. Wakanda's isolationist policies have left many behind, and he's determined to right those wrongs, even if it means burning the world down to do it. He challenged T'Challa for the throne, and he almost won. He's a reminder that even the most noble of nations can make mistakes, and that sometimes the greatest threat comes from within. Thanks for watching. Who's your favorite Marvel villain? Let us know in the comments below. Was it Thanos and his quest for balance? Or maybe Loki and his mischievous charm? Or perhaps you're a fan of the classics like Magneto and Doctor Doom, whoever your favorite baddie is. There's no denying that Marvel villains are some of the most compelling and entertaining characters in the comic book universe. They challenge our heroes, make us question our own beliefs and remind us that even in a world of superheroes, there's always darkness lurking around the corner. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome content. We'll be back soon with more epic showdowns, tragic backstories and maybe even a few laughs along the way. Until then, stay mighty true believers.